Hey, 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 Aries. I'm about to get ready and do an energy reading for Aries, okay? So if you are an Aries, this energy reading is going to be for you, beloved, okay? I just read the wildest reading for Leo. Okay, if you haven't checked out Leo's read, or if you're, dealing, if you're a water sign and you're dealing with an Aries or Leo, you might want to check out Leo read. I don't know why that, that, that read really had me stuck, y'all. Okay, anyway, this is for Aries spirit. I'm going to tap in and ask my higher self, the most high, and a cinema master to help me this intuitive reading. All right, for Aries, what do you guys have? Divorce, experience, and a breakup. Okay, so you or someone in your energy can be experiencing a breakup, an ending. Okay, let's see, for Aries spirit, what does Aries need to know? We have water signs. This came out for Leo, y'all. Okay. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Y'all could be divorcing a water sign. Someone in your energy could be divorcing a water sign. A water sign can be divorcing someone else. I don't know. Take out resonate. Okay. This is for Aries. We have Guardian. A lost loved one watches over you. Okay. You can have a lost loved one. That's a water sign that's watching over you. Doesn't have to be though. Okay, I feel like y'all are being guided away from someone. Okay, by your guides, by your spirit team. We have honeymoon, honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. This could have been someone you were in a honeymoon phase with. Okay, someone's moving forward from that though, from this honeymoon phase. Because we wouldn't have started off with divorce if... Or maybe someone still is in a puppy love phase. I don't know. But let's see. For Aries, we have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. I don't know, y'all. At the bottom of the deck, intuition. Trust your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. You have palm tree and heart. With key behind there, manifest. I feel like y'all, trust your intuition. You are manifesting like a new beginning in love. Something's going to be stable, something solid. Okay, but there's someone who you're being guided away from to end things with possibly or someone that you broke up with that you're being guided away from. You may still have like some honeymoon feelings for this person wanting the relationship to evolve, but you need to trust your intuition, especially if you've been getting an inkling that... You need to end something with someone. Even if you do feel like you have puppy love for this person. Now, I don't know. It may not even be that. It could be that y'all are in a honeymoon phase with someone that y'all want to evolve a relationship with. This is going to be someone who just got over a relationship or just got out of a breakup or, I mean, just broke up or just got divorced. And you may need to trust your intuition when it comes to taking your time with this person. Because I feel like y'all can create st stability with this person. You know, this is someone who's open to love. But this may be someone who we could be getting guided towards this person. This could be someone who's still healing from a, a breakup or a divorce, Aries. Okay. So be mindful of that. This person may need time to heal. Okay, especially with the healing the inner child, there could be some things that this person still needs to heal from, especially if they are recently divorced or in a breakup situation or they just broke up. Okay, your guys can be guiding you towards this person. But again, I feel like take your time with this trust your intuition. You may need to take your time when it comes to evolving this relationship to the next phase because y'all may feel puppy love right now. But this is someone who I feel like has experienced something heavy. Okay, at the bottom of the deck for um, Aries, we have the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. Someone's rejecting someone who sabotaged the connection. Someone's rejected someone who sabotaged the connection. Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. This is someone who's still grieving, disappointed, becoming disillusioned when it comes to a relationship that someone sabotaged. So someone sabotaged the relationship Whoever sabotaged the relationship or whoever didn't sabotage the relationship, they rejected this person who tried to sabotage the relationship. But they're sad about this. So trust your intuition. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you need to reject someone who's sabotaging a connection between y'all two. Okay? Let's see. For Aries, we have the lover's card, Gemini energy. This could be an ex-lover. 
Okay, someone who's frustrated at the separation. Okay, this is someone who failed to, to want to make a choice. This is someone who's indecisive with the three of swords in reverse. Someone could still be releasing heartbreak when it comes to an ex-love situation. So I feel like someone rejected someone who sabotaged the connection between them two. And they're still sad, disappointed, grieving this connection with this ex-lover. This is someone who's still recovering from heartbreak. Okay, let's see for Aries. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. This is someone who ended something to change and transform their life. Okay, with the Eight of Swords here, this could have been someone um, who is freeing themselves from a situation. This is someone who changed their perspective. They're viewing things differently. This is someone who set boundaries as well. Gemini energy. With someone. We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who is mature when it comes to love. This is someone who wants love. Someone could have recently gotten out of jail. Okay, with the Ace of Cups here. This is a new beginning in love for someone. Someone wants to start a new beginning in love. Okay, this is someone who is open up, um, whose heart is opening. They're going through a heart shock or awakening. This is someone who's staying optimistic and hopeful for love, but they're still healing from the heart from a past love situation. We have the devil card. This is someone who gave their heart to somebody very karmic. A karmic broke this person's heart. They ended this. It ended. This is not something that's going on currently, but I feel like. Someone was really in their head about a relationship that they were contemplating or rejecting because they were dealing with somebody who was a self-saboteur. And it was making them sad and disappointed that this person was sabotaging this connection. But they ended this connection with whoever this ex-lover is and are recovering from heartbreak. Okay. Someone also could be an obsessive lover for Aries. We have the... Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Someone's an obsessive, possessive lover. Someone could have ended something with an obsessive, possessive lover. They're also passive. This is someone who's very passive as well. Okay, a trickster. I'm hearing complicated situation. This could have been a complicated situation. I don't know what made it complicated, but... Somebody was dealing with a very obsessive, possessive lover. Somebody who was throwing rocks and hiding their hands in a situation, sabotaging a connection, causing heartbreak to someone, disappointment. This is somebody's ex-lover that they're healing from. Okay. We have the moon card, cancer energy. They could be keeping this hidden. Someone could be suppressing their um, emotions. Someone could have allowed doubts and fears. Cloud their better judgment. When it comes to trusting their intuition about someone who was deceptive. Someone could have created an illusion as if they loved someone. Someone could have been a love bomber. Someone could have been dealing with a love bomber. For Aries, we have the justice card. This is someone who was treated unfairly. Okay. Someone also could have been making false accusations about someone in court, a court situation. Being passive, trying to throw rocks and hide their hand. This is someone who's irresponsible, dishonest, who won't take accountability for their actions either. Libra energy. Someone went to jail for something. I'm here in prison, not even jail. Someone went to prison for something. And they're suppressing... They're suppressing this. They're suppressing something that happened. Whatever happened in this situation where they were locked up, someone could have made false accusations to get someone locked up. They could be holding this back, suppressing how they feel about them being locked up. Someone made some type of false accusation on somebody very loving to get them locked up. Whoever this is, they're a passive lover. Okay. Somebody could be holding this back about them feeling like they were treated unfair this is someone who's still healing who's trying to work on themselves
someone was working on a court case too, trying to be unfair. It could be a Leo. Creating some type of injustice by causing, well, well um, making false accusations. It could have been someone who said someone tried to fight them. I don't like that word either, but someone could have great someone could have accused someone of grape. Yeah, I know what the word is. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles here though, I feel like this is someone who was expecting some type of payout, some type of opportunity. To work on someone with some something with someone, but this is you you trying to sneak on you trying to snake somebody on a sneak tip by getting them locked up and making false accusations is not what's gonna bring you an opportunity in. Someone could have even lost their home or something while they were in jail. What is this? We have the nine of wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who's very frustrated and defensive about them losing some type of opportunity to work on something because they were dealing with somebody who made false accusations against them. They were suppressing this. They were suppressing how they felt about someone who possibly took them to court, was very passive, lying on this person. This is someone who car who's karmic. They opened up their heart to this person. This person could have... They, this person could have either went to jail or actual prison for something that somebody had falsely accused them of. This is what they were still healing from. Someone was still healing from someone make an ex lover making false accusations about them in court. Not everybody ain't gonna be the great, but everybody ain't gonna be the fighting. Somebody just might just take something to court and just be unfair by making false accusations. Okay, but somebody was expecting something out of this. And it has someone feeling really frustrated, offensive, anxious. About working with someone who was very passive. This is someone who was trying to get someone locked up. By doing something sneaky and deceptive, making false accusations. A queen of wands, Aries Leo Sag, it came out in the challenging position. Could be a Leo, could be a Sag. Could be you, Aries. I don't know, but I'm seeing Leo and Sag. Okay, you can come out very warm and passionate, enthusiastic, determined, attractive to this person. But this person is dealing with someone who's very passive, aggressive, demanding, dramatic. Okay, this is someone who's jealous and deceitful as well. They could have been jealous and deceitful of another feminine. Okay, wanting someone to miss out on an opportunity or some type of contract. This could be a contract. Maybe someone had some type of contract or a job opportunity or something that was coming in. Oh, we out for some. Someone could have um someone could have um gotten um what they call it um I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, life insurance. Someone could have gotten a life insurance policy out on someone. Someone could have gotten a life insurance policy out on someone with this Ace of Pentacles death card, justice card. Oh, we, I don't like how this is going. Someone had a, a deceitful plan that they were working on to create some type of injustice. Someone, someone. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what that what that whole um, insurance policy thing is. I don't know if somebody was plotting on a death. I mean, I don't know, y'all. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to assume. Okay, but somebody was working on being very passive about something that could have possibly even got somebody locked up. Somebody could have lied and said somebody else did it. I don't know, y'all. But y'all. Somebody here got some type of contract being unfair. This has something to do with a death. And the only thing I can assume with the death card, the devil card, the justice card, and this ace of pentacles is like a life insurance.
policy or something. Somebody could have gotten a life insurance policy out on someone. Okay. They could have been keeping this hidden as well. What else? And that's the truth. That is the fucking truth. Somebody's going to get clarity about this. 1515. 15, about someone. Something about a death, y'all. Mm -mm, I don't like this. Oh, it just gave me chills. Somebody could have divorced somebody, ended something with somebody before they came out with their master plan. It's really what it's giving. Somebody had like a master plan. The death card is right in the middle of this read. This is someone who, someone chose change and transformation. They chose to heal. They chose to move on from somebody who was trying to, it looked like set them up, y'all. It looked like a setup. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we got the chariot card. Whoever this is, they change their direction, their focus from somebody who was trying to project and spew magic on them, hateful energy onto someone. Someone's going to get a change of perspective about this. A queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, when it comes to ghosting somebody that they were working and collabing with. Somebody could have been working and collabing with somebody who planned on betraying them, y'all, stabbing them in the back. I do not like this for money. For the Ten of Pentacles, y'all. But this is being laid to rest with the Four of Swords. When it comes to an Empress. Somebody was celebrating. Thinking that they were going to set somebody up. Somebody's awakening to this. This masculine. This was an illusion that somebody was creating. Ooh, we y'all. I do not like this energy. Somebody was plotting and planning on somebody. On this masculine or on this empress. They could have been plotting on the masculine to get them locked up. Plotting on the, the empress. For, oh, yeah. Somebody wanted to defeat somebody. Betray somebody. Stab them in the back. Okay. Now, this could just be a karmic contract. Someone could have made a karmic contract. This could be a hit. You know, somebody could have tried to put a hit out on somebody. Okay. I don't know, y'all. Take this, how this resonates. Fire's energy is really coming out wild today. Trust your intuition, especially if you ended something with somebody, or somebody ghosted you, or you felt compelled to move away, or your guys were moving you away from somebody. Because I feel like there were red flags that you possibly seen, but you were missing. Especially when it came to your stability. Like, somebody wanted something to, something to do with your stability. Y'all do have a new love coming. Y'all are manifesting a new love. And whatever distance that was created between you and this person, it was for a reason. This was somebody who I feel like missed their opportunity or missed their chance to do whatever this was that they was plotting and planning. That's why they're frustrated and feeling defensive about whatever this is that they were working on. Because I feel like somebody moving away or choosing to heal or whatever is really what saved somebody. This is wow energy for Aries 1818 on a timestamp. For Aries. What does Aries need to know, spirit? Oh my God. Now these could be this could be a water sign. Some it, somebody could have been plotting on a water sign or I don't know, y'all, but at the bottom of the deck, y'all have I found out the truth. Fire energy. Someone's also in spiritual jail. This could be someone who was in jail, y'all. We have Libra. Now, this could be a home situation. Maybe somebody wanted to be able to steal a home from somebody or something like that. It don't have to be, the, but I'm getting the heavy on the life insurance. I don't know what that's about. And I'll never get stuff like that. That's really weird to me. That's kind of creeping me out, y'all. I'm sorry. For Aries. What does Aries need to know, spirit? For Aries. For some, y'all, this could have been a friend. Aries. Aries came out, y'all. This is y'all energy, Aries. I don't know if this person was plotting on you or what. But we got choosing to go in another direction. I told y'all somebody went in another direction. They changed their focus. Especially if they found out somebody was trying to, like, harm them, plot on them or whatever. Legal matters. 
there could be some legal matters going on. Okay, this could be with an ex-lover. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy is significant. Okay, I took the wrong action, went in the wrong direction. Someone took the wrong action, they went in the wrong direction. Aries. Whoever this is, they're dealing with some legalities now. Okay. We have Aries. Y'all look. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Aries. It could be another Aries that was doing this. I don't know y'all. Or oh, this was y'all. If it was. Okay. We got drugs, alcohol, gambling, toxic attachments. Okay. Then you guys have your abundant building generational wealth. Somebody was plotting on somebody's wealth. This could be a drug addict, somebody who steal. Someone talk to, someone's used to toxic attachment. Somebody did something with some legal documents too. Okay, we have new love offer ahead. Y'all have new love offer ahead. I told y'all this. Okay, I hear how I really felt about you. Somebody hear how they really felt about you. Okay, somebody's emotionally unavailable to you. Whoever this is, they're depressed, stressed, and grieving. Okay. There could be some conflict, confusion, fighting and arguing going on with a Libra. Y'all, Libra energy twice. Aries and Libra energy came out twice. I can't make this up. Libra, Libra, Aries, Aries, y'all. Aries. What are the other Aries at? Aries. I don't know what's going on with y'all and a Libra. Okay. Legal documents, drugs, alcohol, all this. Y'all, this is wild. This is wild. Someone also could be just getting out of a contract where they were treating unfairly, but I don't know. I don't like this, y'all. I don't like this energy for Aries, but it look like y'all gonna work this. Something gonna get worked out. Y'all headed towards new love. Whatever this is, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all are healing and changing y'all direction. Y'all focus. Y'all moving past this, moving on from this. Leave it where it's at. Okay. Anyway, though, that is the energy reading for Aries.